collinear. What do we want? We want to know whether or not these three lie on the same line. So, first, why don't we graph them? Yeah, they look like they're on a straight line, but how are we going to tell? Well, if BC plus CA is the same as BA, then they're collinear. We're looking at that. If BC plus AC is equal to BA, then they're collinear now. Imagine if they weren't, what if it was like bam, boom, boom, crazy life. If that was ABC, if that was D, E, and F, then if you were looking at D, E, plus E, F, would that be the same as D, F? No, uh, it's that whole triangle inequality. But yeah, we're not using that. We're trying to see if they're collinear. If they're collinear, I guess that's collinear. Then what? We need the distance formula. Oh, boy! We need to find the distance. Which one are we going for first? We're going for BC. So we see if this is my, 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 my BC. Oh, boy. I'm looking at the length of BC. So that's going to be the square root of, oh, wait for it, 1 minus 6 squared. Because it's that, that Y2 minus that Y1 squared plus my x to the deuce minus a minus one fun and then we're gonna square that and that's gonna give us our distance so we go and we see this is gonna be the square root of uh, that's minus five squared is 25 all right looks like minus and minuses make moss so that's a three a three squared is a nine fine 25 and nine Ooh, is that 34 Ooh, be careful. This minus that is five. All right, and then this minus that is three. Okay, five squared is 25. Three squared is nine, Adam. <sighs> yeah, all right, so that's BC. What do we need now? We need AC. Yeah, it is a little warm here. Um, we're doing this in the middle of the summer up in the loft. So yeah, that's uh, the square root of now one minus a minus four. So that's one minus a minus four sure squared and then two minus a five that's a, a two minus a five and then we're squaring the dang thing we're using our distance formula so i feel good about this because that's what that's a five squared that's the square root of 25 and then that's a minus three squared which is a nine fine and then again, we get the square root of 34. Does that mean that they're the same? No. I uh, need to add these, and it needs to be BA. So let's go see what BA is. Ooh, where should I do that? I'll do it right here. I'm going to take it to the middle. Yeah. So now we're looking for the distance BA or a b the order doesn't matter so then i go and i stick that in there my b my six minus a minus four that's a six minus a minus four sure square it add it we're doing a b a so then a minus one minus five that's a minus one minus five square that now what here minus and minus is plus that's the square root of 100 why because that's 10 squared is 100 and then we add two that's a six that's a 36 circ so what now that's the square root of 136 we i bet there's probably a four in there designer problems they work out so then 136 divided by four sure um why am i looking at four just because i intuition Four goes into 13 three times. That's a 12. Then that's a one and a six and a four. Sure, look at that. It works out. So that's a four and a 34. So what is this? Shorten up your root, sir. That's going to be the square root of four times 34, which is the square root of four and... 
The root of the product is the product of the roots and vice versa. I rehearsed. That's a, a deuce root 34. So what is that? That's A, B. Let's take it all down here. See? Boom. B, C. That was up there. That was the square root of 34 plus the square root of 34. Was that A, C? It's getting hot in here. And then B, A. That's 2 root 34. Is that true? Yeah. Looks like they are co-linear.